How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 7 has just been announced and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the 7th update for Horizon 5. All of the new cars, the full festival playlist, the new Forzathon shop items, the new features, just everything. If this video does help you out guys please do consider dropping a like on the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. We're going to start off with a festival playlist and all of the new cars within it. It's a very Ferrari themed update this month as I'm sure you will be able to see. So for the full series for for 80 points you will get the first new car of this month the Ferrari SF90 a very exciting car which I'm glad has come to the game and then for 160 points you can get the Ferrari 599 GTO the 599 GTO is not a new car but those are the rewards for the full series now on to the first week of the festival playlist which is summer for 20 points you can get the second new car the Ferrari 250 GT and then for 40 points the Ford Mustang from 1971 which of course is not a new car the car pass vehicle for the first week is the 2003 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. Once again, that is the car pass car for the first week. The Forzathon shop for that week has a few things like a new bass drop horn, the Subaru 22B and the Chevrolet Silverado Diverti. Here are a few other screenshots of the rest of the challenges available on the festival playlist that first week. The second week, which is autumn, for 20 points you can get the next new Ferrari of this month, the Ferrari California T, and then for 40 points the Jaguar XKRS from 2015. As you can see, tons of new Ferraris this month. The car pass vehicle for that second week is going to be the 2014 Forsberg Racing Nissan Safari Z 370Z Safari Rally Tribute. That's the name of it. That's the car pass vehicle for the second week. Now the Forzathon shop for the second week has stuff like a new Tiger Horn, a Toyota Trueno A86, and the Porsche Panamera Turbo. And a few other goodies on there, as you can see. Here are a few other screenshots of the rest of the challenges available on the festival playlist on the second week. Now on to the third week, which is winter. For 20 points, you can get the next new Ferrari of this month, the Ferrari 512 TR. And then for 40 points, the MG MG3. The car pass vehicle for that third week will be the 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. This is rumoured to be in the game for quite a while now, and it's finally been added. Forzathon shop for that third winter week has stuff like a new sort of suit, the Vol 05 RR and the Lamborghini Venino. I probably mispronounced everything then. Here are a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that week. Now the fourth and final week, which is spring. For 20 points, you can get the next new Ferrari, the 2020 Ferrari F8 Tributo. Very exciting car. And then for 40 points, the, uh, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. Nearly butchered that then. The car pass vehicle for that fourth week will be the 2008 Dodge Magnum SRT8. That's a very good car. That is, of course, all of the car pass vehicles concluded. The Forzathon shop for that final week has a new horn, a natural horn, um, the Ford Hoonigan Mustang, the Myers Manx and a cute dress, as you can see on screen. Here's a few other screenshots of all of the challenges available that final week on the festival playlist. That of course concludes all of the new vehicles coming this month. We've got the four car pass vehicles and the five new Ferraris, which is very cool. There's a bunch more stuff coming this month. Let's touch on that now. As you all know, the theme for series seven was the Cinco de Mayo Mexican tradition sort of celebration thing. Now in Horizon 5, because of this, we've got a load of new clothing, a load of new horns and city decorations. There's been another world makeover, as you can imagine. I'm sure at some point on this channel, I'll have a video exploring all of the new decorations we now have for Cinco de Mayo. And as I said, we've got a bunch of more clothes and horns coming to the game as well which we've sort of already covered in the festival playlist for Zathon Shop. As for features we've had a few things added in this update we're going to cover the features now. Horizon Tour has had over 200 new championships added to the sort of 
you know, the pool of championships available, including S2 class racing. As you may know, up to today, you've not been able to play Horizon Tour in S2 class vehicles. They have now added S2 class, along with over 200 more combinations of championships and cars and races to the Horizon Tour lineup. This will also allow players to finally unlock its associated accolade, Power Trip. We sort of already knew this Horizon Tour feature was coming, but that's what it is, and it's now in the game. Event Lab has had some new customization options added. We're going to cover that now. There are some new customizationable options under the rules of play within Event Lab. Get Engine Torque has been added as a condition which allows players to scale Engine Torque from 10% to 200% of its normal value. The Get Gravity condition has also been added, which adds more customizable parameters to the scale gravity rule introduced last series. So the engine torque and the gravity sort of condition have had extra customizationable options added within them to sort of make them a bit more fine, if that makes sense. There have been new props added to Event Lab, such as the colorful T-Rex, the paint barrel, the flower stall, as well as low and medium strength bounce pads you know the boost pads which you can drive your car over and it boosts you up there are now low and medium strength ones of them these were all things that we could see on the Tallman Tuesday whiteboard we could see there was something torque related and something gravity related now we know what they mean event lab changes there's been a few little game fixes as well um, there's quite a few of them but the ones that they have noted in particular are the following treasure chests not spawning after solving the clue has now been sort of fixed a few people have that issue including myself Forza on the weekly challenge hasn't been working correctly for some people such as the first clue sorry the first chapter of the weekly Forza on challenge didn't always work when you got into the right car that's been resolved and there was an issue where you stalled your car on pc when challenging other players to head-to-head -head races that has now been fixed there's a few other fixes within the update i might do a video based on that if there's enough information about it but those are the ones that they noted out now you may have seen in the live stream we also got a bit of info on series 8 as well now if you go to your festival playlist and go to the coming soon tab we'll have a bit of information on series 8 being a german automotive update which looks quite cool and we also have some of the new cars listed there already but we're going to focus more on that in my next video about what could truly be coming in this german series 8 update so stay tuned for that and that, guys, is everything within Series 7 for Horizon 5. Series 8 is next, and I'm sure I'll do plenty of videos on that when we start to figure out what on earth Series 8 is going to be. But for the time being, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.